Alright guys, I'm home from school! I'm so excited. Basically, today is my last Wednesday of sophomore year. Um, I had two exams today. I had math and I got a 63 on it, which is low-key good, so don't come at me. The highest score that I heard of was a 67. So like, I got like two less than them or something. I don't really know. But I got a 63 and I think she's gonna curb it because everybody that I talked to got like a 40, a 40, a 50. I had a 63, my friend had a 65 and then a 67 and that was the highest one I heard of. And honestly, I feel like we're all equally on the same level. So I definitely think she's gonna curb it. And I already looked it up because I got B's both semester or both quarters. So I think I'm still gonna pass. Like that's not really a big deal. But right now we got a bunch of packages from Amazon. And then my, I also had my seventh period exam. And when I tell you my school is actually the worst school ever, basically that class is an FLVS class. Like it's an online class and we weren't supposed to have an exam. So nobody was gonna show up. And then, cause the teacher even said like, you don't have to show up. Like we don't, we're not gonna just sit here and watch a movie and like we can bring snacks and stuff. <sighs> and then yesterday he was like an administrator for the day, but he's not actually an administrator. It's just whenever they have somebody missing, they use him as one. And he went around lunch telling everybody you have to be there tomorrow. Like we have an exam, like, sorry, but there's an exam. And basically that class, that guy is the teacher of it. But the person who's actually like named as the teacher is, um, She's an administrator, she's like one of the deans. What he said was the administrator gave him like a last minute exam. It's literally six questions just about like your school year. And that was it. So we all had to go take that six question exam. And apparently another administrator sent out an email saying that there's no parties allowed. Like we're not allowed to just sit there, watch a movie and eat snacks. Like that's a party apparently. And we're not allowed to do that. So that's why they gave us an exam and made us all go there. But everybody left, like everybody just walked out after they were done. But yeah, my school is the most unfun place ever. So that's another example of it. But we got some Amazon packages. I ordered a couple things on Monday, it's Wednesday. So we're gonna open those up. I'm starting to get so hyped for summer because it's starting to feel like it. Because honestly, I didn't feel like it was gonna be summer last week, but I'm starting it to, but I'm starting to get so excited. So I'm really, really, really excited. Tomorrow I have two easy exams. I have English, which is just like reading a bunch of stuff. And then I have biology, which I already took that exam, but she's still making us do another assignment, which once again, like we can't just sit there. So she's making us do another assignment. First, we got this, another matcha thing. Cause my mom is literally obsessed with matcha at the moment. She's not- oh. So she got this bowl to pour the matcha into her cup. She's obsessed with it at, a mo at the moment. She's not drinking coffee anymore. She's just drinking matcha. And if you guys follow our TikTok, you would know that. This is, okay, I know you guys have seen this. I talked about this in a TikTok, so if you don't follow, then you should. But basically, there's like these Instagram, not Instagram, these Amazon shops, and they sell like the cutest tube tops. So I got this one for our trip. It's lace and blue, and it has a little bow. Like, isn't this so cute with like a maxi skirt? Like, are you kidding? And it's actually not that bad of material. I expected it to be worse. And it's actually pretty nice. So I'm really excited about that. I ordered a couple of tube tops and like tank tops and I ordered a dress. I think the dress is gonna get here the latest. I'm not sure. All right, then we got this little box. I think it's earrings because there's back of ear pieces in those. We got that. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, my mom got some jumbo earrings. Holy crap. They look like pears. You'll see them in a second. That's it, dude, for one very expensive brand and it's all vital. Oh, so she had to get it because it was viral on TikTok. All right, I think this is another one of the tube tops. Yes, so I got another one. This one's lace white, and I think this one's actually so cute. Like, oh wait, this one looks big. I got a small in both of them because I knew that they were gonna be big, but we can always just um like do a little back surgery on it. But yeah, she definitely looks large for being a small. Did you order me a small, mom? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Yeah, this is a small. That does not look like a small. Let me just try it on real quick. So basically, I'm gonna enjoy my first week of summer, not thinking about the trip, but then we leave on a Monday. So that weekend, like the Saturday and Sunday, we're all in for the trip. I'm basically gonna try on every single outfit and make- I need help also so you can check all my outfits. Yeah. So basically what we all have to do for the most part is we all have to try on every single outfit because we have to pack very minimal 
So we're gonna try on every outfit and then take a picture of it. And if you guys know that new feature on your like photos app, where if you press it, you can copy it and paste it into the notes app. So I'm gonna take a picture of every single outfit, build outfits and like limit it down to the things that I know and I can picture myself wearing in different places. And then I'm going to put them all into the notes app and organize them by like where I wanna wear this, where I wanna wear that, which I've never done that before. And it kind of like, it's a lot more organized, which we need because it's just, there's so much going on for this trip that like we have to be organized. Okay, it actually does fit without having to do that. I haven't even zipped it up all the way because I can't, it's like kind of stuck. But look at that little cute tube top with like a denim skirt, really excited about it. But yeah, so I have to do that the weekend leading up and then I'm getting my nails done the same weekend. I'm getting it done on Saturday. So until then, I'm not gonna stress about this trip at all, but we do need to finish booking everything because we haven't done that. We booked like the hotels and like the plane rides and all that stuff, but we haven't booked what we're doing at the places yet, which we need to do. Anyways, I got a couple more things coming, but these two are the first ones. If you guys saw my TikTok haul, I basically ordered this one dress from this place and I also ordered a tube top from there. Kind of looks similar, but I ordered this dress and it turned out to be super ugly, which is unfortunate, but I ordered another one off of Amazon to hopefully replace it. It's a dupe for like, I think one from like Love and, for Love and Lemons. I don't really know what it's called, but I know that it's definitely not the original because I've seen it all over TikTok, but it's really cute. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm really hoping, <sighs> I'm really, really hoping that it looks cute. Basically, I also ordered this tube top. I think this one's really cute. I'm obsessed with blue at the moment. I ordered this tube top and then I ordered this. Oh, actually, wait. Okay, so that one delivered, that one delivered. Okay, wait. Okay, so my, let's rewind. So I ordered those two tube tops. I ordered a camera strap for my camera because the one that I have it right now is the one that it came with. And it's not really cute. So I got one that's like white and beige. It's really cute. I'll show you guys when it gets here. It's supposed to get here by 9 p.m. The next one is this dress and it's supposed to get here from Friday to like Monday. So from the last day of school to like Monday or something. I don't know. This is what it looks like. It is so cute. This is my replacement dress for the other one. So I'm really, really, really hoping. Ugh, I don't know. It's like from one of those like Instagram shops that has like a bunch of dupes for like other things. So I'm just hoping it's semi cute because I really need an outfit for one place that we're going. And I'm just depending on this one. So that one as well. And then, oh, this other tube top says it's gonna come from the 2nd of June to the 8th of June. We leave the 5th. By the time you guys see this, it'll probably be the 5th of June. But it's this tube top. It's not like I need it, need it for this trip, but it's really cute. So I would like to have it, but it says that it's shipped and it just says between the 2nd and the 5th, I mean the 8th. But anyways, that's my little haul real quick. After I go use the bathroom, me and my mom are gonna sit down and we're gonna book everything because basically I have a- yeah. I already have everything set up, so it's not gonna take that long. I love my notes app. Like I use it for everything. It's the most convenient thing ever. I use it for my YouTube channel. I use it for planning trips. I have so many to-do lists on here. So basically I have this whole little section for this trip in particular. One of them is called the place that we're going. And it's basically our daily schedule of what we're gonna do every single day. I'm always organized with our trips and like what I wanna do every single day. But for this one, like you have to be extra organized because we have very limited time in each place that we're going to because we're trying to cram a lot of places in. So I have a very detailed list and then like, so it's detailed day by day. So every single day it says what we're gonna do. And like then next to it, there's like a little bubble. And if you complete it, you check it off. But the checked ones means that we need to book that thing. So one of them is like this class, this thing, this thing, and they're all like things that we need to do. But for the most part, they are all detailed on what we're gonna do every single day. And I'm really excited about it. <laughs> Next, okay, so we have that one part of my little album and then we have blank outfits. So once I try everything on and take pictures and everything, I'm gonna copy and paste them into this notes thing. And then whenever we're on the trip, I'm like, okay, I don't know what to wear. I know, I'm talking really fast. Anyways, so then I just open this and I can like go through all my outfits and see what I wanna wear depending on where we're at. And then I have blank packing and I'm like, skirts, too many, too maxi, shorts, three denim, three comfy, pants, one jean, two linen. So then I have it like very organized on like what specifically I'm gonna bring because we have to be organized and we have to be strategic because we're only bringing a backpack and a suitcase. 
So I'm pretty, pretty, pretty organized for this trip, but I'm not gonna like really stress about anything until the weekend before we go. So yeah, and also, Actually, I'm going to stop stressing about it once we book the excursions because I've been stressing about that for way too long because I'm like, we need to book it. And like, there's very limited things there. Like, it's a very touristy place, but at the same time, like a lot of people go there and I don't want things to be run out like in Hawaii, like where we couldn't find like a boat tour. So that's why we need to book it now so that we have things set in stone and we know what we're going to be doing and it could be a lot more organized. So once we booked all that, I'll be chill. But until then, but we're gonna book it right now so I can be chill for summer. So I'm gonna go use the bathroom and then we're gonna book it. Hey guys, I am back from school. It was literally just pouring rain. So my hair is no longer straight, which I'm very upset about. I really didn't wanna get my hair wet. They made us sit in the gym for like 20 minutes, wouldn't let anybody leave. And when they finally let us leave, it was still, it was still raining outside. And then I was literally standing in the rain. And yeah, it was very annoying. I got home an hour later and then we got home. Our power was on except the one room without power was my room. And my room is the one with the internet in it. So now we have no internet. But we ordered a crumble. So we're gonna try it. Allison's not here. She went to her workout class. Here are the flavors that we got. So I got strawberry cake, chocolate chip, and then two banana breads. There's also chocolate milk and dirt cake. And then obviously the the pink sugar one, but we didn't want to get those because we don't like those, so we're, we didn't get it. I'm not gonna try the chocolate chip because I don't like chocolate chip. So first we're gonna try the strawberry cake. Mm, it's okay, it's not like bad, but I thought it was gonna be better. My mom is currently trying to fix the Wi-Fi right now, but ooh, I'm very excited for this banana bread one. And I know Allison's gonna be very excited for it when she comes home. Let's try. That one is so good. It tastes just like banana bread. Mm, that one, so good, 10 out of 10. But guys, here's my outfit for tryouts today. I was very scared. I don't know if I told you guys about last tryouts, but last tryouts, I started off with stunting. I was in the level three group. I was kind of with like the younger kids, so I was like the tallest side base, so they gave me the tallest flyer. And I was like this much taller than me. And she ended up like falling on me and like stepping right here on my face. And as you guys know, I have the bracket things right there. So she stepped right there on my face. The bracket cut my lip, so that's all cut up. That's all cut up right there. And then I have like this like attachment on my tooth for my Invisalign, and it ended up giving me a canker sore up there. So my lips are hurt really bad right now because of that. But then tumbling was like really good. The stunting was like not that good last time, so I was really nervous that they were gonna switch my groups, and I was gonna go down to like the level two. But luckily, I'm still in the same group, so that's good. So I have to try outs again, 7:30 to nine. But yeah, here's my. Outfit for tryouts. But yeah, see you guys later. Peace out. All right, guys. I literally just walked in from my workout class. Oh, yeah. Please, rooms here because our Wi-Fi was killed by the storm. It was like an insane storm for like 30 minutes. It was actually crazy. Like my, it was. Oh my god, it was so bad. But anyways, so I just got home from my workout class. It wasn't the best. Um, it was like a lot, a lot, a lot of cardio. And I didn't eat before because I had like my public sandwich on my way home from school, which was at like 12. And then my workout class was at four and I just had a bag of popcorn before and it like didn't sit right. And it was like the whole class was cardio. It wasn't even weights really. So didn't feel too hot, but I still finished it. And now I came home to a little treat and I'm so excited. They have banana bread, which I have been waiting for this one for literally forever. And I'm so excited. It has like cinnamon, I think on top. It smells so good. Oh my god, that is, oh my god, that's so good. Chocolate chip, and then, I don't know what this one is. Emily's yearbook? <gasps> Why does she have so many friends? What the heck? Mm -hmm. She has so many. Yeah, I mean, you have a lot of friends. Can I see your boyfriend? Or your ex, or whatever? He's not in it. He's not in it? No, because, don't put this in, mom. <laughs> and you still dated him after that? That's so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. I'm look, did you, them. I know, right? Did you even read what most of these said? No, what's Isla? And then here, we have me jumping over a border. What? Don't Are... read it out loud. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is the eighth grade photo. My friend, she had broken her foot, so she's literally crying in the photo. For ag, they put only like ag one. They didn't put like any ag three photos. I'm like, you should put us, we're about to leave. Um, hopefully we get internet soon because I don't like it and I'm gonna yeah. have to reschedule my video for tomorrow and can't post today at the post tomorrow. Where is your picture? Guys, so my dad just went to go pick up my acne medicine and I'm getting a pill 
and then I'm getting two creams. And one of the creams, I think it's the one for the nighttime, I feel like. I'm not really sure which one it is. $600. Like straight up, they're like, yeah, it's $600. I'm not paying $600 for crap. I read that. The camera died, but basically, my dad went to go pick it up, and the pill and the other cream were perfectly fine, but there's another one by the name of like, I don't know which one it is. There's two creams that I was gonna get, and those were the same ones that I got put on last time I went to the dermatologist, but I guess this time, um, it's not covered by the insurance yet, so right now they just contacted the doctor, which is gonna like, request it to the insurance, and then the insurance is either gonna like, accept it or deny it, and if they accept it, then we can go pick it up, and we don't have to pay $600, we can probably pay something else, but, um, currently, <laughs> it is $600, and the two creams that I got, one of them was you put it like specifically on the spots where you're breaking out and the other one you put it on your entire face. And I didn't know like the specifics. My mom got the pieces of paper. So I'm gonna try to go look for that. But she has like paper that like shows what I was prescribed. But $600 for acne cream, you have to be kidding. I thought he was joking. I thought he was gonna say like $100, which $100 is still a lot. But like 600 for acne cream? Like be so for real. That is insane. Like that's actually insane. So definitely didn't get that one. So we're gonna talk. So I guess like they sent a request to the dermatologist and I guess like my dermatologist missed a step or something cause she was supposed to ask or request it to my insurance and like that hasn't gone through yet. So once, um that goes through the dermatologist or the insurance is gonna call the pharmacy and be like, okay, yeah, like it went through. So then I can go get it for not $600. But until then, I'm hoping it's the one, I mean, I'm hoping it's one that like works better that doesn't. So I don't know which one I'm getting, but that's interesting. And I'm also going on a pill, which is doxycycline. I don't know what it is. We'll see when my dad gets here. But hopefully that also helps so that I don't need the $600 cream, which is actually insane. Um, basically, I'm supposed to go on Accutane if you guys didn't see yesterday's vlog. And there's a lot of side effects to Accutane. And I don't think that my acne is that severe to like need to go on it. And I've seen like things on TikTok, which kind of scare me. Of people like with decently good skin going on it and it like they purge and it gets worse rather than getting better. But then like I've seen so many good reviews and like I know people personally who are on it and they said it's like it's life changing because it like gets rid of your acne and like for like a long time not just for like a couple months because that's what my other one did so I'm on the Dicey Saw clone or whatever for a month until we get back from our vacation and if I'm doing good then I might stick it out because like I don't know if I want to put my skin through Accutane like it's a lot because like your skin dries out a ton. I've, I've seen things that your hair falls out. My friend, I asked her about it. She said that she hasn't experienced that, but her hair is just like really dry and she doesn't have to wash it as often, which is nice, not bad. But I don't know. We'll see if I actually go on Accutane. I have a month to like decide. I have an appointment booked for the 27th of June. So I have to decide by then. I'm probably gonna talk to my doctor again and see like, what more there is because it's obviously not gonna be cheap it's probably gonna be expensive and i don't think the insurance is gonna cover it so we'll see if the other pill which is the one lower than accutane like by like strongest or whatever um if that one is working out for me i think that my acne is more hormonal and has to do with i mean i don't even think i eat that bad to where it's like i should be getting these pimples but definitely like probably watching what i'm eating and with that pill, hopefully it can just dial down a little bit because currently I'm not a huge fan of it. But we'll see by the time we get back from our trip. I'm hoping that on our trip, I'm good. I'm just chill because I don't want to have acne on my trip because it's just a mood killer. But yeah, that's pretty much that. I honestly was in shock when he said $600. I thought he was joking, but apparently he wasn't. And then he put the phone on the guy at Publix and he was like, yeah, it's $600. Like, the freak? Who was paying $600 for that? That's insane. But whatever. 
that's that. See you guys when my things get here. He's at public, so it's probably gonna be like five minutes, but see you guys then.